Well, hurricane preparedness is important every storm season, but doing it during a pandemic adds just another challenge. Just ask the folks at Health First Cape Canaveral Hospital. The waterlocked hospital evacuated some of its COVID-19 patients as Hurricane Isaias sat offshore. The job of making it happen fell to Wayne Strubel, the hospital's disaster and emergency preparedness manager. And he joins me now. Fortunately, Wayne, the storm didn't hit hard in Florida or as hard as it could have. But how did that evacuation go? It went very well. We, you know, we planned in advance to do that. We started our planning for the season back in February, realizing what was going on as March and COVID heated up. We, we normally start our hurricane planning in March. So bringing COVID into the mix, we had to start planning for that. So we did it, you know, as abundance of precaution. We wanted to get those patients out. So we weren't doing it in an emergency fashion. Well, that's nice to hear. And you're not panicked. And we should remind our viewers why you are no stranger to crises. You were on the search and rescue crew after 9-11. How does this pandemic change how you prepare for a natural disaster? You got to keep all of the things like masking, social distancing, and some of our employees making sure they're going to be safe. And if everybody comes sick, being able to quarantine them in, in part of the hospital. When we lock down the facility during the, the height of a storm, we have to have places for everybody to sleep. We've got to make sure there's ample room for everybody so they can social distance, so that they're not sharing beds, so they're not sharing areas. And if somebody were to become sick during that, that we have a place to put them and keep them separate. So that's a big challenge. And when you talk about a war room, typically it's filled with lots of first responders and people like yourself um, planning and strategizing. And of course, with distancing, you can't do that. Are you prepared for a hurricane during a pandemic, given the constraints that you're going to be facing? Yeah, we actually use WebEx and we spread out. We've uh, normally what we'd be much closer to each other. So what we've done is created workstations where nobody's more than six feet you know, close to, there's at least six feet apart. This way, everybody's separated. And those extra positions that we would staff in our war room or our command center, as we call it, are in other rooms. And we can use that through WebEx, Zoom, and we can talk to them and do what we have to do. Thank goodness for technology. Um, if you can bring your expertise down to the level of most of us who just need to get our household prepared as best as possible, what is your main piece of advice? Listen to the weather forecasters, the politicians, anybody tells you to evacuate, evacuate. Masking is important. Social distancing is important. Try to keep the crowds and groups to less than 10 people. Those things when it comes to COVID or a hurricane can all be important. But listen to the people. They tell you to evacuate for a reason. They tell you you should wear a mask for a reason. They tell you to social distance for a reason. And that's to keep everybody safer. Well, Wayne Strubble, we appreciate all the work that you've done, the heroic work that you've done throughout the years. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.